Hey Cougs, welcome back to another episode of Coug on the Clock. I'm your host for today, Alex Dorfler, here with uh, first time Coug debut, Jason Chase. Yeah, so uh, today we're going to start off with some WSU baseball, then go into March Madness, MLB uh, rule changes, and MLB opening days coming up, so some predictions for that. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, to, so to start it off, uh, Washington State baseball, we started off hot. Um, we actually got ranked, which was super exciting. After, Woo! Yeah. Ranked! <laughs> ranked. Uh, we stayed ranked for so long. Yeah, Woo! for I think maybe a week. Not, I don't even know if a week, but um, after that, it's just been all downhill. We lost the last six. We lost we our last six it. game. Yeah, we cooked it, sad to say. Um, Alex says our baseball team woke up. They were dreaming. They really don't play that well. But it is a sh it's a long season. We still got a m couple months to go. Um, I think maybe we can turn it around. We have our players can hit, our pitchers can pitch. Having Kula, McKeon, I got faith in those guys. They were they were playing nice at the beginning of the season, but I don't know what changed. I think, honestly, what changes they came back down to earth. I really don't think the 14-3 start was realistic at all. We, I don't think we're that good of a baseball program. And it... I like to think we was, are. I like to think we I are. I like to think we were, too, but we just kind of got slapped in the face with a six-game losing streak, and I don't know if it's going to stop. I mean, next, uh, on Wednesday, we're going to play Linfield. Can you yeah. tell me anything about Linfield? Um, it's okay I can if tell you say you. no. I can't tell you anything either. <laughs> no, I can tell you. I th we're going to win that one. I really they're hope we're going to win that they're one. They're in Oregon. They're D D3 baseball team. Um, I think we got them. But, but then, after that, we got UCLA. That's yeah. going to be a little tougher. Yeah, we got a uh, three-game home stretch against UCLA. UCLA isn't the same baseball program they once were when they no. had Garrett Cole and Trevor, Trevor Bauer. Bauer yeah. But they're still a very competitive baseball program. They're a big school. That w that series is definitely going to be tough, but I think I think honestly a key is just going to get back into the win column with Linfield. Yeah, get some momentum going. Yeah, try to get something. We got swept by um, USC. They uh, they're a good baseball program. They're really they've really improved over the last couple of years. Um, they are second in the Pac-12 behind Arizona State. Uh, I thought Oregon State would be better. I mean, we beat them. I don't know if that shows something about their programming, their program and the future of it. Um, I really don't think so. I think they might just be having a uh, slow start. But really, we um, gave up 13 runs. I mean, uh, that can't yeah. happen. Like, yeah. that's just a little ridiculous to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Kabler, he pitched well at the beginning of the year, but now. Like you said, it went back down to earth. Um, Hawkins, yeah. I know he also got uh, lit up one of those games. I mean, last. Yeah. Yeah. Last three games, we haven't been hitting, haven't been pitching. Yeah. But hopefully, we can turn it around, maybe get Just some momentum maybe. going, win a few more games. But okay, so now uh, going into March Madness, crazy March Madness uh, lives up to the name. Uh, this is the first time ever that there is no one, two, or three seed in the tournament in the final four. For men's. Yeah, for men's, for men's. For women's, there, there's still one there, but we'll get to it. Um, actually, they all, it was also the first time there was no one seed making it to the Elite Eight. The, um, so now, final four, we got um, out of the south, we got San Diego State. Uh, strong defense, not great scores, um, but they've been like holding every team. No team this tournament's got scored more than 60 points, or yeah, yeah uh, 65 points against them, including Alabama, who everyone thought was the best team in the tournament. They shut them down. I mean, they were a heavyweight in this. Yeah, Alabama was really there wasn't like Al compared to the other years. 
there really wasn't one team that like truly stood out, but that one team was Alabama. Yeah. But yeah. And they'll go up. San Diego State University will go up against nine seed Florida Atlantic. And you want to talk about a long shot in this tournament. Nobody in their right mind saw Florida Atlantic being in the final four. Yeah. I mean, all of it is kind of crazy. If, if you told me San Diego State University was in the final four, I would think they're an underdog, but they're, yeah, the, they're favorite the favorite to win against Florida yeah. Atlantic. I mean, that's <laughs> wild to me. Yeah, they're really representing for the um, for San Diego State Mountain West. Uh, first team m being in the Mountain West, making this far. It's yeah. pretty cool. But uh, FAU also, uh, USA con uh, Conference. I think they might be leaving it, but um, yeah. Long shot, mid-major, both mid-major schools. Uh, love to see it. Love to see like that type of Cinderella story. Really, all the teams left are Cinderella stories. Uh, yeah, really the underdog. You love to see it. Yeah. Um, UConn, coming out of the uh, west, you got UConn. And then out of the Midwest, Miami. Uh, UConn, they haven't been what they've been since they won it last, I think, 2014. But... Um, Dan Hurley, this is their coach. Uh, he, his brother's the coach of Arizona State. Dad is like a Hall of Fame coach. He was like a uh, high school coach, M won a bunch of championships. But uh, be cool to see him win his first ch uh, championship. And uh, I'm rooting for UConn. Joey Calcaterra, this guy Joey California, actually played at my rival high school. I like watched him. We went to a couple of those games. Marin Catholic, that's the rival high school. They're a private school. They uh, go a little overtime. They recruit, and they would always kill us in football because of that. But um, UConn, I'm rooting for them. They're going to be facing Miami. They've also never made it to the Final Four. Uh, so if there's a big chance we're going to see uh, a team that's never – well, we are going to see a team that's never made it to the championship, make it to the championship. But uh, it's really cool seeing, like – none of the one or two seeds making it in I mean, that's far. just fun to watch yeah it's you fun love to, watch. to see it it's good for these programs yeah um on the women's side quickly um it uh south uh south carolina and iowa that's a set matchup um for the final four south carolina won it last year they're going for the repeat they won it a couple years ago um i don't want to see them win Women's basketball is always a, uh, it's like a bunch of dynasties. UConn's won it a million times, I swear. Same with like Stanford, and I don't want to see. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to see South Carolina win it again, but. I think we might. I think we might. They're just yeah. such a solid team all around. I mean, can Iowa bring them down? Can LSU bring them down or one of the other yeah. teams? Um, yeah. Iowa, Caitlin Clark, uh, Iowa like center, she's a uh, power forward maybe. She scored 41 points last game, uh, triple double, crazy performance. Um, awesome to see that in the tournament. But uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I was rooting for Miami. They have uh, those two twins, the Clevenger twins. I think that's what they're called, their names. But uh, they like, yeah, they're cool. I like them, but uh, <laughs> all right, so next topic. Um, I know I've been waiting to talk about it. My favorite sport, Jason's favorite sport, I've baseball. I've been waiting to talk about it. Yeah, baseball's Let's get back. Let's some MLB. Okay, finally. Uh, let's ease. Ease off. But, um, okay, so. Uh, MLB rule changes. Yeah, MLB There's rule changes. There's quite a few of them this year. Yeah. I think probably some of the biggest I've seen in my lifetime. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Which one do you think is the biggest one for you? So, um, the three are the pitch clock. Um, shortening the game like amazingly. Yeah. Uh, shift, eliminating the shift and bigger bases. I don't mind. I'm a progressiveness, progressiver. I don't know if that's the word, but a uh, progressive type of guy. Yeah. I like to see, I'm like totally for all these rule changes. Like I'm for uh, robot umps. I'm for uh, shortening the game, make it more exciting, uh, action packed. But uh, the shift, that's the one I do not like. I think that. In baseball, there's like teams can still work around the shift getting banned. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, they but have been. Basically, you can put your left fielder where you would shift your third baseman last year, and then you still have a shift. 
Joey exactly. Gallo has seen that. I, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other lefty power guys like Kyle Tucker, Rowdy Telez, they're also going to see that happen. Yeah, but uh, the reason why I don't like it is because teams are working around it. They're bringing their left fielder over. But also, why should they make this rule to favor lefty batters? Uh, uh, analytics have gotten so advanced now, and there's so many uh, like different ways that these players can change their swing, speed up their bat. I think lefties should, they shouldn't get this advantage. They should learn to push the ball, not be such pull hitters. And yeah, I think, yeah. I do get that argument, but I would counter with, it's gonna allow for more base hits, which is really what you want. I'd much rather see a base hit than a ground out and it makes the game a lot more interesting. With a runner on first, also, new steal, uh, new bases are bigger, yeah. more stealing. It's going to allow for more stealing. And ba you want more action in the game. That's true. As, as exciting as a ground ball is, I'd much rather see a base hit and a stolen base. But also, let's talk about the pitch clock a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest. I feel like that's the biggest change. And I feel like for the casual fan, that's so big because when I started watching baseball, it was a little boring, I'm going to be honest. And I feel like the game is getting a lot more casual fans from the World Baseball Classic which saw so many more viewers from all around the world. And I think it's going to only help Major League Baseball because yeah. the casual fan is going to be able to go to and enjoy a baseball game and not fall asleep in the third inning. But, I mean, you say the World Baseball Classic brought so many fans over. They don't have the pitch clock in that. There was, that those is true. games were averaging over four and a half hours. They Now, in spring training, those were, games were yeah. like two and a half. I would argue in the World Baseball Classic, you had a much better environment, though. Yeah. Especially in, more over in Japan and Puerto Rico, yeah. the Dominican Republic, and stuff like that. I would like to see it change. They'd, like, do something with it during the postseason. Yeah. Because you need that suspense. It's, uh, I also do it? think you should turn it off ninth inning on. Okay. Yeah. Because... Uh, I haven't heard that. That's a good... That's you do not want to see a game end, end on an automatic strike three. Yeah. It's like imagine base. This did happen in spring training. Bases loaded, mm -hmm. full count, automatic strikeout. Yeah, game's over. That. You, that can't happen. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it can't be. It, that can't happen. Yeah. But um, so, uh, just talking about baseball in general. It's coming up opening day, uh, Thursday, probably when this episode releases. Um, I'm a Giants fan. I'm optimistic about the future of our team. I mean, uh. We didn't get Judge. We didn't get Mitch Correa. Hanniger, woo! Yeah, we got Hanniger. He's, uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, he'll make it. Uh, he'll start opening day. He's got an oblique injury, something that's lingered with him for a while. A very long time. Yeah. But um, but when he's on the field, he is quite good. Mm -hmm. You know who else is good, quite, quite good on the field? Xander Bogart to the Padres guy. <laughs> I feel like that that's pretty good as well, you know? Yeah. Padres, I think the Padres will take the... The West. I like to see NL West. Yeah, I, the Dodgers are always competitive. Don't get but me yes, wrong. Yeah. They always find ways to be shifty, but their lineup is just not as it's good as it's as been as in recent yeah. years. They, they lost, lost Trey Turner. They lost Bellinger. They lost Bellinger. Turner. I mean, can JD Martinez <laughs> fill that hole? No, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. I mean, if Gil Vargas didn't swing a, the bat half his spring, I mean, yeah. he's been swinging a bit better now. But like, <laughs> I mean, I'm actually I'm happy about. Uh, I mean, I don't want to watch the Dodgers. <laughs> When, believe me, but I'm happy to be able to root for Turner and Bellinger. I love those guys. I think uh, Bellinger. I think the Cubs actually will be pretty sneaky this year. Yeah, with they've, they've made some moves. Yeah, they have. Pitching still a little weak. One thing I really want to see happen this season: Belly Yelly in that NL Central. They're going against yeah, each other. That's I, true. I really hope they both bounce back. Belly Yelly, like that MVP, or so that was peak for me. Yeah, but yeah. I also, I mean, it's pretty cool. You say they play. Uh, Every team plays every team now. Yes, that That's is something that changed change. in the schedule. And I think you're going to see some changes, especially in the central divisions, which really aren't strong as strong as compared to the east and west divisions. That's true, yeah. I mean, the central divisions have kind of been the laughing stock of MLB when compared to, like, the NL West and the AL East. I think you, you're going to see... Someone could win one of the central divisions with 85 wins. I yeah. think that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to be the Guardians and the um, Braves. Braves are in the East. Yeah, Braves are not the Braves. Um, Guardians Brewers? and the uh, Brewers or Cardinals? Brewers or Cardinals, yeah. Yeah. 
Cubs could certainly sneak in there as Cubs. well. Yeah, I think the, the Braves will win it out of the East. I think yes, they're going to win yes. it over the Padres. Um, West, I said Padres. Yep. Um, or Phillies, I meant in the East. That's what I meant. But um, who you got in the AL East? AL East. Uh, Yankees. Yeah. Yankees. And then Rays. I mean, I love the Rays. They're always good. They're always competitive. Great pitching. Love Glass now. But, I mean, uh, are you still on the Yankees, like, hype train, even with all the injuries they've had in this pitching rotation? Um, yeah, I mean. Have you seen their rotation? <laughs> nah, read it off. Clark Schmidt. <laughs> it's Garrett Cole. Yeah, you got Garrett Cole. Clark Schmidt. Yeah. And then you have. Nestor uh, Cortez. Nestor Cortez. Um, uh, Domingo Herman. And take your best guess for the last one. They don't know. Yeah, they're going to have to put a... This was, going in, their rotation was going to be a strength, and it was very good. But if Rodon misses a lot of time, Montas is missing time, maybe they get back for the playoffs, but the wins aren't going to be there in the regular season. So, so you have the Rays? I have the Rays. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. The Rays, yeah, it's a... Yeah. That's uh, fair. Okay, what about the uh, AL Central? The AL Central, I got the Guardians. Guardians. I do think they're, they're a young team. They're improving yeah. well. I do think the White Sox will give them a run for their money after being incredibly mid last year <laughs> because they got that old fart La Russa out. Yeah, I legitimately that's true. think oh my. he was he's the cause for a yeah, lot of the White Sox troubles. He's a for them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was that one clip of that guy in the fans saying, run angle. And then he actually did it like he forgot to run angle. Like, what was that, man? That was ridiculous. Yeah, Larusa has been coaching. He should have been retired and stayed in <laughs> retirement. Why did he come out of retirement? He thought it's he ridiculous. Have. Yeah, he, he needed he needs to retire. He needed it. Um, yeah. He was, he's in his 80s, I assume. I don't know, man. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, and then... Uh, AL West, I want to see the Mariners win it. I think the Mariners can. AL West is going to be exciting. It is, yeah. Because you got like, the Rangers. I even like the Rangers. I really like the Rangers. I'm really hoping DeGrom can stay healthy. If DeGrom gives them a full season, I think they're second place no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, and Simeon bats like how he did in uh, Toronto. I think Seager's going to take runs. a step forward. Seager, yeah, me too. Especially with Seager, the shift being banned. With the shift being banned. Yeah, and but I mean, I, I'm not saying I think he could learn to be more of a push hitter. Yeah, I mean, not yeah. Not putting it past him. He's a great player. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, birthdays, not with that topic. Uh, birthdays, uh, I know today, Monday, filming, close to my heart, Buster Posey. It's his birthday. Um, uh, three World Series, Rookie of the Year, uh, MVP. Comeback player of the year, finish his career on a comeback player of the career. That was sad. Yeah. Player of the year. That was sad for me. He should but be in the Hall of Fame for me. Oh. First ballot, in my opinion. First ballot. First I don't ballot. feel like he's had the longevity for that. Oh, but what he did. What he did Buster was Posey. incredible. Yeah. Being a catcher, like, great catcher. Great postseason catcher. Yes. Um, I also think Lindsey Combs should be in the Hall of Fame. So. That's <laughs> a hot take. Uh, he had a shorter career, but okay. Okay. Um, Let's throw Troy Tulowitzki in there too, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Another if he was, if he didn't get injured. Yeah. But uh, yeah. We can talk about injury what ifs all day. We can all talk day, about Grady yeah. Sizemore at that point. But another birthday, Cy Young. He yep. turns to the great young age of 156 years old. <laughs> yeah. He lived to be 88 years old. Uh, he was a very good pitcher. Most, most wins, 511. I know that, top of my mind. Um, There's a reason why it's called the Cy, Cy Young, Young Award, Award. Yep. yeah, for the best pitcher in each league each year. Uh, and then also another one I got was um, I had it uh, Richard Sherman on Thursday. Uh, true inspiration, Richard Sherman. Grew up in Compton, made it to Stanford, graduated, won a Super Bowl. Um, all-time trash talker. Gotta love Richard Sherman. And um, so that's it. I want to shout out Chad Pinder. Chad Pinder. <laughs> just, just, just a nice little shout out, but uh, yeah, that'll close it. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, for more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel at 
Cable 8 um, down below, our Instagram at Wazoo Sports Network, TikTok at Wazoo Sports Network, Twitter at Wazoo Sports Net, and go buy some merch, links in the bio. Hope to see you wearing it on campus. I'll give you a hug if I see you wearing it on campus. Last time I said a high five. Oh, didn't see anyone, didn't oh. see anyone wearing it. So if you want more motivation, you want a hug from me, there you go, cop some merch. Um, oh, first all freshman class, cast, true freshman yeah. cast. Yep. What? This is the first show with both of us. Yeah, both, not cast, but like, yeah, both of us, we're both freshmen. Yeah. You're going to be seeing more of us next, I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay as well, so <laughs> get used to me. I don't know if you don't like me or not, but yeah. uh, if you don't like me, deal with it. I know you like me. Uh, I'm Alex Dorfler. And I'm Jason Chase. Thank you for yeah. watching. Have a good day. <laughs> what do you yeah. want about? First of all, freshman class. Uh, <laughs> I said cast. No, you said class. <laughs>